Hey guys, so in this video we're going to be talking about window switches. So I've been fiddling around, went to the junkyard, bought one and not much luck. So I bought the universal one on Amazon and unfortunately it was for a two door and uh, the picture showed a four door switch. So I only had three switches and it was wired a certain way to where it would only work two windows. But I was able to get at least three windows working. And I got I ordered my fourth one. I'm going to get it here shortly. So I'm going to show you how I uh, hook these up and how I bypassed it. And um, we're going to go over uh, what will be the best case scenario. Okay, so here you have a blue wire, black wire, red wire, another black wire, and a green wire. The blue wire and the green wire is window up and window down. The two black wires is your ground and the white is your power. I mean the red is your power. Same on this side, except you have a brown and a brown with red stripe. Though that's also your window up and window down. So uh, for these two wires, you run straight to your window. And for the ground, you run to the body somewhere. And for the red, you run to your fuse box. And um you need to hook these up separately. So in order to do that, you're gonna have to splice the wires into the same switch. So this switch pretty much stayed the same. I was still able to keep the clip, and I ran the black wire to the ground and red to the power and these to the window, which is these purple wires. And the same with the driver's side. I got the blue wire and the green wire. I run it to window up and window down, and all that good bullshit. And um, for this one, I had to do it a little bit differently. Before, it was made for a two-door, so this ran into this. So you were able to work it from the driver's side, and you, the passenger had his own window. So, I took this, and I spliced the red wire into the other red wire that runs the fuse. And these two brown wires on the single switch is your ground so I ran that splice it into the black wire which uh, gave it ground and gave it power and uh, now for the window up and window down this switch is very similar to the driver side switch on here you have a green wire and blue wire and the red is your positive like I told you before and uh, you have your window up and window down it could go either way but I decided to make this I'll focus. I decided to make this window up because it's full. It shows a closed window. And this is open in the middle, so it shows a window down. So that's how I did it. Because I thought it would make the most sense that way. So that means the green wire for me is the window down and the blue wire is the window up. And you would run that. To your window wires which is right here and all it takes is two wires and the regulator is self grounding luckily and if you ran uh, wires of all the same color it's best you label these wires and you know which one is which um, these wires if you switch them the depends on what kind of window switch you have the switch will be backwards like you push the switch for down it'll go up so just keep that in mind here's a fourth window I don't have a switch for it yet, but when I do, I'll have to tie it in to this red wire and then the ground for the black wire, and I'll have to run those uh, two other wires to my windows. Alright, now that we talked all of that over, I'm going to go ahead and make a cover out of diamond plate, make it fit nice and flush. Now I'm going to make this thing look sweet. I want it to look nice. It's going to sit right about here. Uh, pretty much flush with this and um, I'm just gonna self tap screw it to the plastic All right, here's the template I'm using so I've cut it down the middle and I measured it and I rounded it off for the corner so this little Slot right here. I'm gonna slide it through there and it's gonna sit flush Like that and I'm gonna self tap screw it to this edge and along the bottom and you got this part over here so, so it's going to fold in like that, and it's going to sit nice and flush. And when I cut it, I'm going to have to bend it in like that. So these switches are taking up a lot of room, so it's probably throwing you off a bit. 
but I can already tell it's gonna work out good. And it's a really easy template. Just make it out of cardboard. Uh, it's a lot easier than measuring and engineering. So uh, just trace out on the material you want to use and uh, go from there. All right, here's a diamond plate. So I've cut out the the marker and uh, I've traced it out. And uh, this piece I'm going to bend. And uh, it's going to take a bunch of fabricating before I get it perfectly, before I get it all right. So I'm going to cut it and uh, I'm going to show you guys and just like that, you should have a giant chunk of metal. What I did was to make the bend is I took the grinder and the straight piece and I just cut it along there. I didn't cut it all the way through. I just cut it about halfway. Yeah, so I did that and I'm going to bend it to the angle I want it. And I'm going to measure out the switches and put those in place. So the window switches are slightly under two inches so in case you're curious so I'm gonna measure two inches and by however long it is looks like it's the same width almost and um, I'm gonna cut out three holes might cut out a fourth one for my fourth window switch so cool beans okay so here it is in place um, not quite done with it yet. I might just screw it to the top here rather than go on the edge like I originally planned because it, fit, it fits better on, on the top here. And plus, you know, if I put it in here, it's a really tight fit and I might have to like grind all this off and like customize it and it's way more ri risky than it's worth. So I might just do it on top, but I don't know, we'll see. Okay, so I got the holes cut, got the first switch in. It was a tight fit. It took me a little while to do this to finally get it right. You can still see some of the imperfections. I kind of wish this uh, bezel was a little bit bigger because whoever made these, they do not give you a whole lot of wiggle room. But oh well, let's go for what it's worth. I got the second hole cut, test fitted it, and uh, I'm gonna when I get my fourth switch, it's gonna fill in this space a little bit. And uh, I took the grinder and I took off the shiny finish. I left some shininess behind, so I just kind of like took the grinder, took it vertical and horizontal, kind of gave it that cool look. So I like it, and I'm going to screw it down and uh, hook up all the stuff, and uh, we'll see what the finished product looks like. All right, after you get your holes drilled, I drilled four holes at the bottom, one here, and that's it. So I used a 1364s to drill this these holes and I'm going to use a 964 to drill into the plastic and uh, the scrolls, screws I have is um, these so I figured a 964 would be the perfect size for the threads to bite correctly. Once you get your holes drilled you can put your screws in and go to town. Now that that's done you can put all your stuff back on. There you have it. A nice bezel for your window switches. Unfortunately, I don't have my fourth one, but it's coming here shortly. I'm going to put that in. But uh, you guys get the idea. So uh, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up and subscribe.